What's the difference between the impact crusher and a cone crusher? So an impactor is done by impact and a cone crusher crushes through compression. So that's forcing a stone to be crushed at any given point. Whereas the impactor will break the stone at the weakest point of the stone. So any seams, natural seams of the stone, that's where it's going to break it first. And through that it will give you a higher strength material. Impactors can be higher wear, so in some applications they're not always that suitable. However, a great reduction ratio and also an incredible cubicle shaped material is produced out of them. So through the maintenance, it is a lot more maintenance at any given one time, but it's easy to work on, nice and easy access, changing blow bars is nice and simple. The reduction ratio being so big means it can take a rock up to 500 mil and then take it down to a 40 mil product. Um, when we come to our cone, it is limited. So when it comes into the chamber, for an example, a meter cone or a three foot cone would only take a maximum size of 180 mil feed um, and then crushing that down to whatever desired size we want. So the cone is excellent for doing a consistent product. It'll crush 20 mil, 40 mil, all day and every day and maintain that setting. So we can at times get away without having to have an after screen on the cone. Now the way it works is the cone's got a shaft in the middle and that's an off-centered shaft or eccentric and that there is moving from side to side and slowly turning at the same time to give even wear and breaking against what we call the outer shell. And so different carcasses adjust differently so it's either the outer shell moves up and down or the cone in a moves up and down. With the impactor, we've got our primary apron and our secondary apron. So your primary crushing is done in here, your stone's entered in through the chamber, and this rotor's spinning clockwise. And as that stone comes through, it's smashed, 80% of the brock is broken at the blow bar, and then the rest against the apron, or autogenous crushing. So when we talk about autogenous crushing, that's how we achieve our excellent shape index giving us a very very good cubal shape product. In terms of cost per ton the impactor can be very um, a lot cheaper to run at times when we don't have to have a jaw in front of it because that's a one-stop shop that can do it all in one process. The cone is very very cost effective if we've got a feed size less than 180 mil but once we go above that we then need to put a jaw to feed to this machine which could easily add $1.90 per tonne to our cost per tonne. So that gives you a quick brief. If there's anything else you need or any other questions, please don't hesitate to call the team here at Equip2.